Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Wogga Z, and today we're going to talk about the Twitch changes that could arrive as early as this summer, well, winter in Australia, and how they affect you and me as small creators. That's who we are, and that's what the video is aimed for. If you're a much bigger content creator, this video isn't for you. I apologize, but you can find more videos regarding content creation on my channel here on YouTube. Just click down below on the icon of my channel and you'll be redirected there. Before we go into the video, I have a bit of housekeeping to do now. Uh, I do stream on Trivo Thursday and Friday at 7 a.m. Australian Central Standard Time. I want to play games. At the moment, it's mostly mobile games, but I will start playing PC games shortly, probably back a couple of months. Um, you can find all the links down below in my landing page. Now, let's go back to the video. This video is my personal take onto this tweet that you can see right here. Now, what I'm about to say is only my opinion. I don't have any inside information. I'm just commenting what's already out there and how it affects small streamers. Now, let's talk about the first point. Split revenue, 70-50. That is probably the 0.0001% of Twitch streamers that earn 70% out of the sub revenue. And so it doesn't affect us. So I don't think it's worth talking about it. If you want me to talk about it in the next video, pop it in the comments. But otherwise, let's skip through. Now, let's look about the second point, more incentive for ads. This could go very right or very wrong. Let's analyze both of them. Very wrong. Twitch has been trying out packages for streamers, small and big, where streamer had to show a certain amount of ads to get a certain payout. Other than that, don't quote me on this, but at the moment, for every thousand views, the creator gets $3 for showing an ad. This doesn't make it even worth for the creator. And this model could go very wrong because it will result into less views overall on Twitch and less views overall on smaller creators. Because as a base, ads ruin the viewer's experience. So done that way, you will have an AI decide when the ads are showing and how the ads are showing. So ads could be coming on in crucial part of a game if you're playing a game or a crucial part of your live stream. And as a small creator, if I'm watching a smaller creator, if you were watching a smaller creator, would you stick around if you had the nut showing up on a critical part of the game? No. And most likely, you would not come back to watch it. Very right. Now, as for YouTube, for example, you need a thousand subscribers to be able to monetize through ads. But YouTube gives the creator a percentage of what they're earning through ads. If Twitch was to implement the same kind of deal, it would be worth for the creator. But at the same time, the creator should be in control of when the ads are showing because the creator knows when is the best time to show an ad versus a critical part of the live stream. So Twitch will make it worth for the creator, but as well, not disrupting the viewer experience. Now, let's look about the third point, new tire system. I think this change has been long overdue because you have the affiliate contract that starts at 50 followers and three average viewers which is very, very easy achievable. And then after that, you gotta have 75 viewers on average, and there is nothing in between or above 75, which doesn't make sense um, because it should be a reward-based system. 
So what I personally reckon that is my opinion only, that would be two tires for affiliates. So maybe something like still 50 followers and three average viewers, but that's something like 300 followers and 10 viewers average. And then there will be three stages for partners and probably one would be below the 75, so maybe 50, I would say. And then one above, which would be 150 viewers or 200 viewers, 1,000 viewers, um, that will give you a lot more rewards. Now, I'm a big fan of this because even though I'm a smaller creator, like everyone else, even you that you're watching the video, I want to aspire to be better. I, I want to have a system where you have clear steps and not steps that are longer than the leg. Because jumping from three viewers to 75 average viewers is way too much. So I'm really, really looking forward to this new tire system. Now, let's talk about the last point, which is no more exclusivity. This is the point that I'm more excited about because exclusivity is an archaic way of locking down a content. Nowadays, the only platform that has exclusivity is Twitch. What exclusivity means is that when you stream on Twitch, you can only stream on Twitch for the duration of your live stream. If you stop your live stream and then you start it somewhere else on the same day, literally one after another, you can. And the live stream you did on Twitch, you have to wait 24 hours before exporting any of the content anywhere else because Twitch owns the content. Now, I can understand if you are a partner that you can only post your videos or your live stream on a particular platform because the platform is paying you to be part of the partnership program or you have better benefits than anyone else. So it makes sense. But if you're not a partner, most of the affiliate level, it's just evil because bottom line is as a smaller creator, if you only can stream on one platform, you have limited visibility. If you feel good with the platform, you will be advertising this platform and not because you can only stream on that platform. So it's better to focus on your effort as a platform on to create a safe, fun, and good environment for the streamer to be in and for the viewers instead of locking it down. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these changes could be implemented as early as this summer. So hopefully, fingers crossed, no more exclusivity. Guys, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Um, I will see you hopefully um, in one of my live streams on Trovo Thursday and Friday, Australian Central Standard Time. Other than that, happy gaming.